today we're talking about the Sonya G Pro Face Set. And we are going to unbox this bad boy together. The set uh, came available on Beautylish on Saturday. And um, it retails for $270. This packing job is not one of Beauty Delicious best, but we're gonna let that go for now. And we're gonna talk about these beautiful brushes. Okay, oh wee, beautiful, okay. So, as I said, the set retails for $270. I love good face brushes. And I want to shout out a fellow YouTuber um, who, uses the builder one to do swatches on her channel and it's like makeup porn watching her swatch the all of these palettes all the time and um she does an incredible job and i asked her about you know her thoughts on the sonya g brushes and she was singing the praises and she was very nice and you know responded immediately and you know really got me excited and uh she got me so excited i went out and bought the um the Face Pro. Um, these are just, the way they feel in my hand is like nice. The thing is, you know, I used to just use, you know, like the cheapest brushes possible or, you know, as you get more into makeup, then you, you know, you, you will invest more money in things and, you know, the tools that you use. But, um, you know, I started out with Kevin O'Quan brushes, which were expensive, but the quality really is not really commensurate with some of the, you know, the handmade Japanese uh, brands like Hakuhodo, which I got into about maybe, I don't know, eight years ago. Um, and then when the Wayne Goss brushes came out a few years ago, I got, you know, a bunch of those and I love my Wayne Goss brushes. And of all the brushes that I have, and I'm going to do a video on my favorite brushes, but of all the brushes that I have, my Wayne Goss brushes are hands down my favorite. But I just got these today. So there is uh, some, I mean, I can just look at these and I mean, the way they feel and just, you can look at them and tell that there's quality abounding Sonia G, girl, how do you do this? I swear this is the softest brush I have ever felt in my entire life. My God. Okay, this is the Face Pro. And um, each brush has the name on the ferrule um, of the brush. And the name of this kit is the Sonia G uh, pro face set and this particular brush I believe is the largest of them all and this particular brush oh god girl oh man I'm so glad I brought this I don't know what to do it was $270 I, I, this brush alone <laughs> might be worth $270 and I didn't have to pay $270 for that for just this brush alone but this is the Face Pro, and let me tell you what Sonya G has to say about this brush in the description. It is an all-over powder brush made with dyed and undyed Sokoho goat hair, and it diffuses product for an evenly blended effect. Oh, wow. So it's a mix of dyed and undyed goat hair. The silkiness and softness of this brush is, I swear, this is unlike anything that I have ever felt on my face my god i felt like i'm just i could paint on just beauty and youth with this silky brush oh my god these brushes are not available individually yet the set the face pro set just came out on saturday and unfortunately i just checked the check i'm checking the website now because i wanted to be able to talk to you about each brush and um what it's described as um, oh my God, I can't stop touching it. This is the softest brush that I have ever felt, I've ever laid fingers on. 
that I've ever laid on my face. Gee, oh my God. Sonia G, where have you been all my life? Girl, wow. Okay, so it's angled. It's a large powder brush. And um, I've read that, you know, it can be used for um, overall powder. It can be used for applying bronzer. And I can see how that will really be, you know, very in the little three have your little threesome with your uh, bronzer. This brush is the softest thing in my collection now. Oh my God. I mean, I wish we had feel-a-vision because if you could feel this, you would you would run. Um, and like I said, unfortunately, they are sold out right now. The set is sold out. I highly suggest that, um, you know, I guess it just depends on, you know, whether or not you use powder. And, you know, if you use makeup, you probably use powder. And, I mean, if these were, I haven't even felt the other ones yet, but I'm just going to go out on a limb here and say, if these become available individually and in past sets, that's been the case. They appear to have, you know, become available individually and sold individually. I... I, I will probably buy another a backup of this brush. I would be scared it would get discontinued or something would happen to the baby. <laughs> and um, I just, I can see myself getting a lot of use out of this. I mean, it is just the perfect shape. It is just, I mean, it is soft. Even when you rub against the grain in the opposite direction. Uh, that's the Face Pro. Um, like I said, an all over powder brush, bronzer application. And it is a fairly large brush, as you can see, with a slight slant, slight angle to it, okay? Um, this is one gorgeous brush. And officially today, at today o'clock, this became the softest makeup brush I own. Gonna make that proclamation. <laughs> the next brush in this five brush set is the InnoCheek Pro. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's inspired by the art of calligraphy. This paintbrush-like face brush made with dyed psychoho goat hair adapts to the unique contours of the face. And this baby looks like this. Oh my God. I mean, you can just see. I, I mean, I have such a crazy appreciation for, you know, just excellent craftsmanship. And this is just, girl, why are you so soft? Why do you feel like silk and cashmere draping over my skin? Why? Why? I'm having an eczema <laughs> situation and I haven't used any makeup on my face today. And I swear these brushes are making me want to pull out some makeup so bad and just plaster it all over my face because I want to use these brushes. And yes, these are right out of the package. I haven't washed them yet. Who could possibly wait to touch this? Oh my gosh. This is the silkiest, softest brush ever. Okay. Wow. Um, hmm. It says that... Um, it adapts to the unique contours of the face. And this um, is a great brush for, I'm sorry, my allergies, for pressing, set, setting powder into the skin. I can definitely see myself, um, after concealer, I can definitely see myself going in and taking some powder. My favorite way to do it is to go in and just take a light amount of powder and gently press it into my skin after I've applied my concealer. Doesn't smell funky or anything either for a natural hair brush. Um, let's see, does it say what this one's made out of? Goat hair, just just psychoho, psychoho goat hair. Um, oh, that is just a, such a thing of beauty. Um, I can definitely see myself getting a lot of use out of this brush. I mean, highlighter, hello. Hello, highlight. And it splays out, that's nice. Oh 
Oh, wow. Do you see how that splays out? That's like, you could do blush with that. Because it comes to a point in their precision, you know, I guess you could, you could apply it like that and then immediately blend it back. That is just, that is soft. That's a quality brush. I mean, every single part of it, the, the handles are, are fat. They're very easy to hold and just gorgeous. I mean, wow, pretty. I mean, there are no loose hairs, nothing out of place. I mean, perfection. That's what it is. It's perfection. I can already tell that this is worth every dime of the 270 that I spent. I was very excited for this brush right here. Let's see, the next brush. The next brush is the Fan Pro. I'm just gonna go in the order that they do it on the site. That's cute. It's the cutest little fan, yeah. Oh, okay, so it's taped down. Okay, let's see how you're gonna do me today, taping stuff down. Let's get rid of this tape. Okay, so this is the fan brush. It's like a little tiny fan brush, and it's called the Fan Pro. That's what it's called. And um, slip, oh, wow, look at that. Oh, that's soft. It's very firm and very springy. Oh, wow, look at that. That is a really pretty brush really really pretty and I can see how that could just be perfect perfect for highlight perfect on that cheekbone go down that nose mm, cupid's bow decollete very nice very very nice I can totally see how that would be amazing and again this is go hair it's the Fan Pro. I don't get as excited about fan brushes. Uh, for some reason, it's just, it's never been like my favorite shape. Um, but probably, and I would really hazard a guess that it's because I haven't had like a really just exquisite fan brush yet. So, you know, my experience and my level of you know appreciation is not where it should be because I just haven't experienced you know really great fan brushes but um, this is probably one of them okay the next brush in the set is the detail pro and I was very excited for this this is similar to the first brush the 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 face pro um, in the combination of dyed and undyed goat hairs let me take it out of the plastic. For size comparison, you can see, um, and it's the exact same, but you know, it comes and tapers to a point. And the shape is very, um, the shape is very reminiscent of my, let's see, what brushes do I have here that are similar to this shape? I often, I know it's a Hakuhodu 5523 um, that I often uh, reach for. Um, well, here's another one too. Because unfortunately, I cannot put my, oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. There it is. It's a it's a Hakuhodu. No, it's very different. It's very different. The the Hakuhodu 5523. Let me put this one down all together. This is my most used brush at this point. This is goat hair, and it, um, you know, I normally just place color after uh, applying a base. I normally, without powdering the base go in and I apply the crease color and then blend it out. I try to carefully place it first and then go back and blend it out. But this, the level of softness on this brush is not even close. Um, and it's considerably smaller. 
and this is meant to be a detailed face brush. That's what it's described as. And But I can just really see myself being able to place and blend color into the crease because it comes to a very defined point. And I have, you know, a lot of eyelid space <laughs> to play with. And I can really see myself blending out and diffusing color with this. Okay, the other thing that I, um, so as a detailed face brush, you can do some very on point highlight. Really get down the center of the nose. And this is a really nice brush. I can see myself getting a lot of use out of this. Um, although I suspect for me that I would be using it as a really chubby crease brush to diffuse color, uh, to place and diffuse color um, over the eye. But I really love the softness of this brush. I would love one just like this, but a little bit smaller um, for the eye. Something similar to my Hakuhodu J5523 because I, I get so much use out of this brush. And I think this is like the similar to the, it's a MAC, not a 239, a MAC 217, you know, before they, now they're uh, synthetic bristles, but back when they were still natural hair. Okay, that is the Detail Pro brush. The very next brush that we have, I gotta put everything away. I can't just let it sit. Um, the very next uh, brush that we have is this cheek brush I'm very excited about. It's called a Cheek Pro. And this brush is small. It's very small. And it is, let me read what it says on the description. It's a sculpt, buff. Stop playing with me. Oh, man. Got to pull it up again. This is to sculpt, buff, or set with what Sonia G calls the cheek brush of her dreams, made with dyed Sakaho goat hair. Okay. And um, I know that this brush was intended uh, to get into those smaller pans. And um, I do have, let's see. Do I? Do I? I'm claiming to have, but I don't know if I actually do have. If what I'm actually reaching for is, yeah, I have one of the, the hourglass palettes. But it's designed to get into these smaller pans of blush, bronzer, and highlights. And it's perfect. As you can see, it's the perfect size for that. It gets right in there. And... I'm not putting anything on my face right now because I'm having an eczema situation, but it's the perfect, perfect size for that. And it splays out and has a nice amount of spring and give to it. That's beautiful. I could see how that would just be amazing. I'll definitely be using this on my Sicily La Orchidy blush. And that is the final uh, brush. It's the Cheek Pro in the Face Pro set by Sonia G and I'm so excited because this is my first set of Sonia G brushes and um, these are just so lovely and I can't wait to use them all. Again, the set was $270 at Beautylish and um, it is currently out of stock um, and I'm not sure what the restock information is. I will check and put it in the description box below if I'm able to find out anything about uh, restock dates or uh, when the brushes are going to become available individually. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this review of the Sonya G brushes because I am, I'm in love. There's nothing else to say. Thank you.